having some strange dreams lately. Like a dream about someone else's life. What is this? <gasps> what? Could this... Could this mean... That our dreams, that girl and I... We're switching places? Welcome everyone to Takiso with a review of the most popular anime film ever, Your Name. I'm Anime Pro Malesh, here with Anime Casual Nate. Your Name captured anime lovers' hearts through its beautiful animation and memorable characters. Did it live up to the hype for you, Nate? To be honest, nah, not really. This anime is currently the highest rated anime film on my anime list, but I don't think it's the absolute best. Nonetheless, let's dive right into that story. Your Name debuted in Japanese theaters in summer 2016, where it meant instant box office success, and had a strong run in the West in spring 2017. The story follows Taki Tashibana, a high school boy that lives in the big city of Tokyo where he lives a ho-hum life. Elsewhere we have Mitsuha Niyamizu, a shrine maiden who lives in the countryside and dreams of the big city. Your name revolves around these two mind swapping with each other and experiencing new lives. It starts off in confusion, but the two quickly realize a fantastical situation and end up helping each other advance in each other's lives when occupying their bodies. It leads to many comedic moments that surprise me since Shinkai films are usually more serious. The comedy was a welcome addition that added to the enjoyability of your name. I personally dislike the core mind-swapping plot device of this film as it's basically unexplained. I won't say the film is bad for that as it does build around this plot device in a meaningful way. However, I will criticize the odd pacing and sudden turnaround in the tone of the film after a dramatic twist is revealed. It reminded me too much of The Place Promised in Our Early Days, Shinkai's first film. We reviewed that, and we both thought it was a failure in the story department, and I couldn't help but be reminded of it when watching Your Name. The tonal change in Your Name also brings about more unexplained sci-fi-ish plot devices. Thankfully, the characters are written much better in Your Name compared to Shinkai's first film, so let's move on to that. Like almost all of Shinkai's works, the film has two main characters, a boy and a girl who develop feelings for each other. While I dislike the mind swap, I'm glad to see that very early on, we get meaningful interactions between the two main characters. I was even more engaged by it because of how they had to communicate via altering each other's lives. They couldn't meet in person due to circumstance. The rest of the cast are basically all secondary characters, who don't become too important until later on, when the film's tone and pacing change. I like the way you learn about the secondary character relationships with Taki and Mitsuha by seeing their reactions to either of them occupy the other's body. Mitsuha and Taki's friends serve as the side characters for your name. The relationships felt natural, which helped add to the immersion of how these characters help each other out later in the film. Taki's co-workers reaction to Mitsuha were fun to watch as well. Seeing Mitsuha set up dates with Taki's supervisor Miki was cute. Like Nate said, the secondary character development is mostly shown through mind swap Mitsuha and Taki, who then had to fill in the gaps later. Now let's talk about the animation and art style. Shinkai's own animation studio, Comix Wave Films, animated the masterpiece that is your name. I watched this film in theaters and nearly teared up because of how beautiful it was. Everything about your name is a technical marvel to look at. Shinkai perfected his art style through this movie with his memorable character designs. If anyone says your name is not the best anime film that they have seen, then they are crazy. That's pretty high praise, but I would agree almost 100%. The film was stunning to look at. I unfortunately did not see it in theaters, but I would have loved to. Pausing at nearly any moment shows incredible attention to detail in all areas, especially the backgrounds. However, I'll say this film is only the greatest in just art direction and backgrounds, not the animation itself. There just were not many moments with standout animation, so don't go saying Comix Wave is the new Ghibli. Now let's discuss the soundtrack and voice acting. Your name surprised me by having an awesome soundtrack that fit the mood for the entire movie. The soundtrack is full of whimsical tunes that added nice depth to the scenes in the film. The insert songs by band Rad Wimps also enhanced the mood for some notable scenes. The Japanese voice acting was fantastic. Taki and Mitsuha's voice actors brought their characters to life wonderfully. I also like the soundtrack and the bilingual band Rad Wimps who sing the ending in Japanese for theaters but in English on Blu-ray. Both versions of this film featured some English vocal songs, which I liked, and overall the soundtrack was very fitting for this film. 
I waited a really long time to watch this movie just for the English dub on Blu-ray. The English dub was great, and I heard some familiar voices, like Taki's voice actor, who played the main character in Summer Wars. Your name blew my mind when I watched it in theaters. And it has become one of my favorite anime films, and it's Shinkai's best work. The movie made me fall in love with anime again, as before watching it, I questioned how much I loved the medium. It's a film that every anime fan should watch just because of its marvelous animation. My first Shinkai film was also Shinkai's first film. It was mediocre, but it made it more interesting to go straight from his worst film to his best film. I didn't have any expectations, so I can't say I'm disappointed with your name, but aside from visuals, it just didn't impress me. The story got odd and convoluted just like in Shinkai's first film, and while the character development interaction was a lot better in your name, it was still pretty cliché. Nonetheless, I'd recommend this film most because it is still quite interesting and it's popular for a reason. You can rent Your Name digitally on places like Amazon, Vudu, Google Play, and PlayStation. The Blu-ray and DVD are modestly priced in stores as well. As always, if you've already watched Your Name, click the first link in the description for our post-review discussion, which includes spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Your Name. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback, and we'll see you guys next time with a new Taki Sobo review. Ciao! In a never ending game Seems like the world's still trying to tame me If that's the way I will obey Beautifully struggle every day